so what do peppermint sticks, painter's tape, and silicone earplugs have in common? Glad you asked. Well, you didn't, but I'm going to tell you anyways. <laughs> um, so I struggle with needing MRIs and having problems with proprioception issues. I'll explain that in a moment. And um, claustrophobia when it comes to being in the tube of the MRI machine. I didn't used to, um, but it's gotten worse ever since I had a really bad episode with proprioception. And basically, I'm kind of dumbing this down because uh, it's the level I understand it to. Um, but it's when your body doesn't necessarily know where it is in time and space. So like, you know, right now I could do this, but really bad proprioception could mean that you think that your fingers are coming together, but they're really doing this. And proprioception can take different forms, like feeling like you're falling just because you're lying down and your brain thinks that you're going backwards. That's my problem in an MRI machine. So this morning I got a call, well, my mom got a call very early and um, said that I could get an MRI appointment like Literally, we had just put the paperwork in yesterday. This is unheard of. It usually takes a very long time to get in. And on the way there, I'm listening to my my music, my Christian music, trying to get in the right headspace so that when I get into the machine, um, I can think of good music that can help me not go into panic mode. Because sometimes, when I have time to plan for this, I would take my anti-anxiety medication which is pretty much exclusively prescribed for moments like this. But I need to be able to take medication with it and, or food with it and give it time to absorb. I didn't have that option. And I didn't feel safe cutting corners in that way. So I prayed about it and used the tools that I felt that God was reminding me of at that time. So where do these three things come in? Well, while I was listening to the music, I remembered a really cool tool that an MRI tech um, helped me with one time, one of like, three or four times ago. And basically when I told her what I was experiencing mentally when I got into the tube of like feeling like I was falling backwards, and really scary feeling by the way, she suggested that if I can't keep my eyes closed for that reason and keeping my eyes open also gave me that similar sensation because there was nothing to vis visually put a marker on she got me some tape and she put it in eye range so that when I opened my eyes I had something to look at at that point I think she drew a heart on it and she <laughs> actually stuck it where I could see it for me which was awesome um ever since then I have tried to bring tape with me sometimes it's clear sometimes it's painter's tape I highly recommend this most because it's so much easier to take off um this time, I didn't just bring the tape and put a heart on it. I actually wrote down names of songs. I don't know if you can see that very well. I'm trying to get... There. I actually wrote down names of songs that um, could really help me focus on the right things, on Christ himself, and um, help me not go into panic mode. And so, like, in case you couldn't read those very well... Top one is, our God is an awesome God, and then shout to the Lord, and then Jesus loves me. And then, my Jesus, from Ann Wilson. And then, uh, FFH song called, I'm Alright. So that's, that's what's on here. And I put that in eye, in eye line of my, where I was going to be laying. I asked the, the MRI tech before I did it. So, just so you know, always ask before you do these things. Um, you can bring them with you, and they can always say no. Uh, some MRI techs are really awesome and the machine will actually make it possible that you could bring your own music in different forms, but most don't anymore. They used to play CDs and tapes through their sound system. They don't really have that capability on a lot of the newer machines, which is a bummer, but some do. So that's an option too, possibly. Always ask first, again. It might be a USB drive, thumb drive, or it might be um, some other thing but you can't bring metal in with you, so don't, don't rely on anything you could bring into the machine with you because you'll fry your phone or anything like that, even if it's in the same room. So don't do that. So this was my way of dealing with that. Bring my music, 
in my own little head and put it on here. So that was number one, because panic mode can make you completely lose all memory of the best songs possible. So you get this, and it helps you retrieve those memories when you're really hearing all sorts of crazy sounds, because sorry, but spoiler alert, MRIs really loud, really obnoxious sounds. Um, kind of sounds like a jackhammer and feels like you're still under the concrete and having the vibrations. Sorry to put that image in your head. <clears throat> but there are ways to make it better. Um, another tip, by the way, some MRI places, today was the first time I've ever had this offered, so not all, um, will have headphones that they will offer you to block out the noise. That is awesome. Unfortunately, like I said, not all of them have that, so that's where this comes in. I prefer silicone earphones for, or not earphones, earplugs for my ears because personally the other kind, like the, the silicone um, pre-shaped or the foam ones, they actually cause really bad build, uh, air buildup in my ear and really bad migraine later. So I, cho I choose to get the uh, formable uh, silicone earplugs. Even with this and the headphones, it will still make noise, just to warn you, you will still be loud. That's why you wanna have something in your back pocket like this to look at and remind yourself of the good things. Whether it's maybe names of some of your most amazing people in your life, maybe it's a little drawing that you do that reminds you of something that's you know a, your happy place. Or maybe like me, it's songs that can put you in the right headspace. I highly, 100% recommend this. Now, why did I bring peppermint sticks with me? Good question, glad you asked. Again, I know you didn't, but oh well. Peppermint sticks. Um, at first I brought them thinking that I could possibly bite down on them in case I was in pain in the machine, but my mom brought up a good point that I was gonna be in that machine for anywhere from 15 to 45 minutes and that's gonna dissolve, at which point I would be lying on my back with a dissolved peppermint stick, trying to figure out how to swallow it without hurting myself. Maybe not the best thought. So, realizing I didn't have that ability or whatever you want to call it, um, I still brought it in with me for one very different reason. You see, as aforementioned, you can't have metal on you when you go for an MRI. So, you can't have jewelry, which means any kind of necklace or rings that could possibly help um, remind you of some good moments or whatever it is that your jewelry might remind you of. Um, but I could bring this in because there's no metal in it. So I brought this in and I put it on my chest, kind of where my necklace would fall. And um, it was just a gentle reminder of what I've worn sometimes as a necklace, which is a cross. But instead of a cross, it's a candy cane basically, which reminded me of Christmas. Anytime I like thought about what I had with me, I thought about this being on my chest and it reminded me of Christmas and God's grace. So I don't know if you are struggling with the thought of needing some really painful or scary tests. Maybe in, you're about to have your first MRI or maybe you're about to have your first MRI after having a really bad one. And maybe this is me watching myself a few years later when I'm about to have another one and wondering what I'm going to do to help myself through a bad season. And for any of those reasons, to anyone watching this, this would be my recommendation. Put yourself in a good headspace first with music that can really calm you down and help you that you can maybe be able to bring up while you're in the machine. Don't let yourself be too distracted by too much conversation beforehand so that you can remember that music that you were playing at that point. So that's the first step. Bring some tape, whether it's blue painter's tape or some other kind of tape that you can easily remove. So that's an important part here. Um, and ask if you can put it in eyesight, in eye line. Write or draw something on it that can put you in a good headspace, whether that's lyrics, song titles, favorite people names, TV shows, whatever it might be. And that can help your brain trigger to a good place when things might get a little scary or maybe painful during the, the test. 
And, you know, earplugs aren't a bad idea if it's an MRI you're going in for. Good ones that help you. Also, don't forget to ask if they might have some headsets that can block out secondarily as well. It can't block everything out because loud sound is still really heavy vibrations. So there is that. But at least you can do away with the outside sound. So that's helpful. And honestly, I am finding more and more reasons why peppermint sticks are amazing. For, they help with pain. If you put them in your mouth for a while, they can give you something to bite down on. And they're yummy. <laughs> and also in a pinch, it can be a good reminder of Christmas and Christ's love and grace. So, I don't know. If you got something like that, maybe can maybe peppermint sticks aren't your thing. Maybe they don't make the kind you can eat. I don't know, but something like that that can help be your little reminder. Maybe it's a non-metallic stuffed something. Again, ask if you can bring it in with you or not. Um, but that would be those would be my little pointers. I'm just super grateful that today went so well because I have not had a good MRI in a while. I mean, I, I actually did have a pretty decent one in the ER last year, and it was just through a lot of prayer. And today, prayer helped, but these also were amazing tools that I'm so grateful for, and I just wanted to share it with you. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to go rest my neck now because I've done a lot. So... Thanks for watching. Ciao for now. Bye.